Welcome back to the channel. Hamza here, your host as usual. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can create a free shipping coupon that you can easily share with your clients who want to shop from your website. So that can look something like this over here. So how do you do that? Let's head back to our WooCommerce website. Come to WooCommerce, go to settings. And under settings, let's head straight to shipping. Under shipping, there are different zones that you can create. A zone is basically a specific area or geographical area where you ship to. Now in this case, I have a region which I ship to called Uganda. And also I have a region which I ship to including different other countries, US, Canada, United States, and so on. Now in this region, I want to offer a free shipping to people who have a coupon code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is simply edit the local delivery shipping zone. Now in here, I am going to add a shipping method on top of what is available. There is a local pickup. Someone can come to the store and pick up their order or a flat rate. That is basically for any person who is ordering from our website and they will pay a specific fee. Now in this case, I'm going to add a shipping method and it's going to be free shipping. Now I'm simply going to say add method. And in here, I'm going to edit the free shipping method and I'm going to say, it requires a valid free shipping coupon. Okay, now once I have that selected, I save. It means that whoever is going to qualify for this free shipping method or for free shipping, they need to have that coupon code. Now let's go and create that coupon code. So we're going to come here to marketing. Remember coupons were moved from the WooCommerce menu to marketing menu over here. Click on coupons. And we are going to create our coupon code. So we're going to say create the first coupon you can simply click over here and i'm going to you know name this to be free shipping this is the actual coupon code that i'll be sharing with my clients i can describe it here like free shipping for local delivery or clients in uganda region you can describe it any other way you want the discount type doesn't matter, so you can choose simply percentage discount, fixed cut discount, whatever, for this specific tutorial. The coupon amount is zero, and then we're going to say allow free shipping. Now, if you check this, it means that you should have already added a free shipping method. That is what we just did under free shipping. So you can also set the coupon expiry and say this coupon is only going to run from the 1st of December to the end of December. But in this case, I want to leave it open because this coupon code is only for people whom I'll be sharing with, maybe via an email or basically clients who request for a free shipping coupon. For anyone to use this coupon, they should spend a minimum of, let me say, $10. And the maximum spend can be whatever you set. But I don't want to set up this. What I want to make sure is that this coupon cannot be used on items that are on sale. Now, let me show you how that looks like. For example, when I come over here to my website, I go to shop. You realize that i have an item on sale that is already discounted so i don't want that a client is able to only order this item and then they use a free shipping coupon so that's why over here i'm going to select to exclude items on sale however per cart coupons will only work if there are items in the cart that are not on sale now this means that if a client has added several other items in the cart including one on sale this coupon now will work however if they only have an item that is on sale as their only item in the cart, then this coupon code will not work for them. That is what they mean here over by saying per item coupons will only work if the item is not on sale. So now down here you can add exclusions. For example, in case you only want this coupon to work on specific items on your store, you can add them over here. You can exclude some products. You can also add specific categories or exclude specific categories from this coupon code applying to. You can also set up usage limits and say this coupon can be used this number of times or can be used this number of times per this number of users. But I won't go into that at the moment. So what I'm going to simply do is publish our coupon or our free shipping coupon. And I am going to copy this coupon code. In a case whereby you don't want to use a word, you can simply just generate a coupon code which has a unique digit that you can always share. But in this case, I want to use this word. So let me just update. Now, let me go to my store 
and I'm going to go to the cut, view the cut. Now, this is how my cut looks like. I'm going to remove the free shipping coupon code. Okay, now I'm back to my website and under my cart, I already have some items on my cart. And at the moment, they're offering two options, the local pickup and the flat rate. But in this case, I have a special coupon code that I can use to get free shipping. So I'm going to add the coupon over here, then I apply it and boom. Here, the coupon code has been applied and now I qualify for free shipping. Okay, it means that this website will ship the items without paying the flat rate fee over here. However, if someone has only added an item that is on sale into the cart, then this coupon code will not apply. For example, I'm going to delete all these items. I'm going to go to the shop page. I'm going to add this item that is on sale. And already it's offering me two options, whether to pick up this item from the store or to pay a flat rate of $1.5 and they ship it to my address. However, if I apply the free shipping coupon code, it's going to tell me, sorry, this coupon code is not applicable to selected items. Reason being that the free shipping coupon cannot be applied to items that are actually on sale. This is what it says over right here, exclude items on sale. However, now if I go back to my shop page and I add one more item, then if I apply a coupon code in my cart that has several other items, including one on sale, now my coupon for free shipping will be valid and I can use it over right here to check out with a free shipping discount. So in a nutshell, that's how you can create and offer a free shipping coupon code on your WooCommerce website. In case you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.